Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Genotype. This is a genetics game for one to five players for ages 14 and up, and the average play time is 45 to 75 minutes. Now, this is our first time playing, so we may get a rule wrong or two. Um, and based on what I've read so far, and based on what I've seen so far, this is, at its heart, a worker placement game, where we're going to be using our spades, I guess they're spades, to cover up various parts of the board to get stuff done. Now, what are we trying to do in this game? Well, we are growing pea plants, and we are trying to in layman's terms, and I'm, I'm going to be using a lot of layman terms here simply because biology was my least favorite branch of science in high school. Um, so, in order for me to really understand this, I had to like break it down into generic layman's terms to get it to, to understand what's going on here. Um, but you're going to be taking these pea plant cards, and you're going to be trying to, through various actions, taking these leaves and covering up these letters on these cards. So you've got big R, little R, little F, little F, big G, little G, small T, small T. You're trying to take these leaves and cover them up. When you've covered every single letter, on a card, you can then, through a later action, score it and put it off to the side for end game scoring. The number of points you get are in the upper left hand corner. And then you're going to rinse and repeat. Get more pea plants to plant here, cover up those letter combinations, score it. Get more, cover up letter combinations, score it. At the end of the game, whoever's the most points wins. That is a very, very brief overview of what you're trying to do, okay? So, as far as the components are concerned, here's a quick look at the box insert. Um, it's worth noting that the developer also sent me um, an upgrade pack. So, some of this stuff we're not even using. Uh, the upgrade pack is like better components. Like, here are co the coins in the base game. They're plastic. There's a little turn order marker here. Um, rather than it just being a flat token, the upgrade pack has this piece instead. Um, coins in this game, they're like more, I don't know more metallic. I don't know what the actual material is, but it's, instead of these paper coins, you've got these, these nicer looking coins. Um, you've also got these thicker cardboard, or thicker wood pieces, as opposed to the punch out ones that are in the box. So long story short, some of the components that you see here are part of an upgrade pack, so you may not see all of what you're seeing here should you buy the game retail. Okay, unless you go to their website and buy the upgrade pack or wherever it happens to be sold. Alright, so that's a box insert there. Um, the game comes with two different uh, books. One is the standard rule book. It's roughly 20 pages in length. So it, it does a pretty good job of explaining things. Um, a lot of it is biology, like I said. And um, biology is just not something I'm really good at. So I had to like reread this several times and break it down into layman's terms as best as I could. There's also a separate book here, Behind the Science, or The Science Behind Genotype. This is, if you want to learn things about Punnett squares and phenotypes, and uh, this, this particular developer often does this, adds a separate book that's more informational, um, then you can give this a read. So that, that's kind of cool. I love it when developers go the extra mile to educate. Even though biology is my least favorite science, uh, branch of science, um, it's still appreciative that they've done something like that. All right, so there are some dice up here. There's some tokens that have various letters on them, like big R, big R, little r, little r, and so on. You've got extra plots, which I'll get to, extra dice spaces, which I'll get to, some leave tokens. You've got the main board. This is the round tracker here. There's one, two, three, four, five, five rounds. Under it is a quick overview of what you do on your turn or how a typical round plays out. Um, each player starts with three spades of a particular color, and these are also part of the upgrade pack. They're just, I guess, filled in. Um, you start with three of a particular color. Any extra spades go over here. You can earn these later. A typical worker placement. Um, you've also got these pieces. Again, this is part of the upgrade pack, but these are used to cover up these spots on the board, and I'll explain why you would want to do that later. Each player gets one of these player boards, and you also get three of these cards from the pea plant deck. One, you choose one to put into your, your garden area. 
You keep one for your hand and then you discard the other one. So you choose how you want. You also get a random tool. Um, and then you're gonna have these helpers down here. All three always go out no matter how many people are playing. Um, there's a deck of those. Um, then you're gonna put on a number of pea plants and tools face up here in this area equal to uh, the player or whatever the player count requirement is. So in a two player game, it's three of each type. And the max number of players, you'd use all five spaces for each. But in a uh, two player game, this is what we got to work with. You've got an abacus here and the default spaces are actually colored in. Uh, these will determine prices for research, which I'll get to later. So like I said, the game is broken up over five rounds. And on round, or the, fa the first part of a round is the worker placement part, where starting with the first player, which whoever has the, the spade thing, um, the first player marker, you're going to uh, use your spades and assign them to various spots on the board, wherever there is a spade icon. Okay, there are some restrictions. This says four plus, for example. So in a, this is only used in a four plus player game. So we will never use this because in a two player game, this is irrelevant. So I could put a spade here. In putting a spade here, I can take a tool from here or I can take it from the deck. Uh, and these are not refreshed immediately, just for the record. If I put a spade here, I get to take two of these or f any combination from here or from here, okay? Um, if I put a, actually before I go into this university, let's go over this over here. I can put a spade here, 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 or here. And if I'm the first player to either go here or here, or here or here, or here or here, or here or here, if there would be a coin here. I can take that coin and add it to my supply. Okay, so if you're the first player to activate this area, then you can take the appropriate coin. Now going up here, um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but going here allows you to take one of these uh, one of these little pieces and cover up either the big R, little r, or the column here, the big R, little r. And the reason why you're doing that is because it will allow, it will allow you to change the odds on the dice rolls that are coming up later. I don't want to get too much into that right now. Suffice it to say, if you want to change how the dice come up, then you will want to put, um, possibly these tokens over top these default ones. And I'll get to why you may want to do that later. So you can go here to take a piece from there and cover up these default symbols. Or you can put a piece here and remove one. You can't flip it, but you can either remove or you can put one down. There's also a spot here that allows you to, uh, has no immediate effect, but in the next phase, you get first dibs on a blue die. Or if I go here, I get first dibs on a red die. If I go here, first dibs on a green die, and so on. So no immediate effect, but it will give you first dibs on a, that particular die color. Also down here is the second shift. Um, you're gonna put these in order from left to right, or from right to left, however it works. And we'll just pick one. And when it comes time in the second phase to actually start drafting dice, we're going to resolve these in order. And then after we get through all of those, like if I have this, this, and Idly has one here, and we go from right to left. So we would first resolve these, and then we resolve these in order. So I would go, I would go again, now Idly goes. And now once we're out of these, Starting with player order, I go, she goes, I go, she goes, I go, she goes, and so on. So this is another way to break typical player order. No immediate effect, but it will help you go first when picking dice. Whenever you, whenever it's your time to go down here, you can pick any die color. P putting one here allows you to, ch it's just for that particular die color. Putting one down here, uh, you get to pick any die color. But again, they get first pick before these guys do. It, tr just follow me on this. This doesn't make sense until you get to the second phase, and I'm getting there. So getting back to worker placement, putting one here, take a token, cover up a default column or row of these letters. Going here, no immediate effect, allows you first pick on that particular color. Down here, same thing, gives you like second pick 
after these guys are done on dice. Um, coming over here, there's a treasury spot. You get two coins from the bank. Um, university allows you to take a leaf and cover up any combination that you want on your card, any letter combination, um, outside of dice. And I'll get to how dice work in a little bit. But suffice it to say, you can break rules, come here, and cover up any letter combination that you want. You have to pay one coin for the first slot and two coins for the second slot. So whoever goes there first, early bird gets the worm, is cheaper. Um, I already explained that in that. Um, players also have some actions on their player board. There's a gardening spot on their player board, and that does three things. The first thing they do is take a tool or a uh, plant. Then, if they have any completed plants, clear them off, score them for endgame, um, and then they can then take any uh, plants that they have in their hand and put them onto their garden plot. So it's a way of getting rid of completed cards and adding new cards. That's what gardening action does. Players also have um, these temporary spots um, when we draft dice in the second phase, I'll get to it, um, there's three spots for that. And once you're out of spots, that's it. You can't cover up any more letters or take any more dice. But if you assign a spade here, you can take potentially more dice, and then potentially you can cover up more letter combinations. So that may be important. Um, but anyway, so that's a quick overview of the actions uh, for phase one. For phase two, you're going to take all of the dice, and you're going to roll them, and you're going to put them into their appropriate spots. So I'm just going to take a sampling here. All right, so we're going to roll all dice. Any dice, there's Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then you've got this little mutation symbol. Any that are roll, any mutations that are rolled are re-rolled. If you roll a mutation again, you have to keep it. Mutations go here. Um, and then for the Roman numerals, you're going to look at the chart to the left. And it's, this is the Punnett square part of science, which, again, it's the recessive genes, X, Y, chrome, whatever, uh, science. So you're going to look at the chart. This is a Roman numeral 1. There's a Roman numeral 1 in the upper left. So you're going to look at the letter that corresponds to these. So there's big F, big F. So that one would go here, big F, big F. Um, this is a Roman numeral 3. You're going to look down here. This is big G, little g. This is big G, little g. I'm going to put that three here. Long story short, ones, two, threes, and fours. They're all designed that way. So one, one, four, three. Okay? And again, we can double check. Four. Let's see. Uh, four is little r, little r. Little r, little r is right here. Four, that's correct. Okay? So this spot is one, two, three, four. And then any mutations go here. Okay, so this is the second phase now. We rolled all of the dice, not all of them, this is a sampling. And now, whoever had spades here get first dibs on that color. So if I had a spade here, I would now get to pick a blue die. Or if I had a spade here, I get to pick a red die. If I had a spade here, green die, and so on. Then once these guys are done, um, we resolve these down here at the very bottom. Um, they get to pick any color. So I go first, I'll get green. Then if Ida Lee's next, then she'll pick red. And if I go next, then whatever. Wh whoever the order is down here, we start drafting dice until our thing is full. Okay? So we're going to be drafting dice. Now, whenever you take a die, you're going to put it into your player board. So um, let me go ahead and back out so you can see what I'm doing there. Um, let's see if I can find one that actually matches what I need. Uh, okay, here we go. I need a big G, little g for this particular plant. So I might take the three, big G, little g, put it here, and now I can take a plant and cover up big G, little g. Okay, that is how you use leaves to cover up these letter combinations to then score those cards. Okay, now you're wondering, okay, so that's what Roman numerals one through four do. What does the genetics, what does this mutation symbol do? What happens if you take that? One of two things. You can take it, then take a coin from the bank. Simple. Or you can use it as a wild for another die. So I've got big F, little f on my board, or on my pea plant. Now, there is no big F, little f die for me to take. To take. That sucks, right? Well, I could take this. And I can take another die of the same color no matter where it's at, 
and use it for big F, little f. This is big F, big F. I don't need that, but I can use it in conjunction with this wild to use it as big F, little f, and then cover up that. The downside to doing that is I've now used two slots in my player board to cover up one thing. That's, you're getting cramped now. Unless I have more slots by taking these actions, I only have one die left that I could possibly take to cover up another letter combination. So by using this as a wild, you're going to be consuming a lot of your empty dice spaces. Okay, but that's how those work. Those are like wilds. We go back and forth, first here, then here, then in player order, until we're out of dice to take or we're out of slots on our player board to take dice in the first place. Once we're done with that, then we move on to phase three, which is researching. This is where in reverse player order, starting with if, if I'm first player, she would go first. We're going to um, take turns buying upgrades. You can buy a new plot so that you can get a third plant uh, spot for yourself in case the two aren't enough. Um, you're going to pay whatever, wherever this, wherever this token is in that column. There's a one, two, three, four, and five column. Wherever that is, you're going to pay that amount, and then you're going to push this forward by one to make it more expensive. So as people buy upgrades, they become more expensive, but they reduce by one at the end of the round. Uh, dice slot, if you want more dice slots, you take one from here and you, you know, put it off to the side or on your board, whatever. You guys can't see that. But you're gonna take from here and put it nearby, and now that is a new dice slot that you can use, okay? Uh, action marker, that's how you get more spades for actions for the first round or for the first phase. You can also hire assistants, which are down here. These are permanent. Tools are temporary one-time use cards. These workers uh, or assistants are permanent and they do different things. I'm not gonna go over everything because that would take forever. So I'm going to, as they come up, I will talk about them and, and go from there. And that's it, that's a round. We're gonna clear everything off, any unused dice, any dice that we have here are cleared off. Um, we're going to reduce the prices all by one. We take our markers back. We put coins back if we need to. These cards go away. These cards go away. These cards go away. We refresh them. And then we move the round marker up one. At the end of the game, again, we're going to earn points based on the P plants that we scored, possibly any money we left, ha have left over. I'll take a look at that. But there is, on the back of the rule book, uh, a quick overview of a typical round and how, how you're supposed to do it. And there's also a quick guide for the tool cards and for the assistance. So that is, in a nutshell, genotype. Okay, before we actually start playing, one thing I forgot to mention, there is a space down here for research goals. You can pay two coins if you go here first, or three coins here if you go second. Um, you can then take one of these and put them on one of these spaces. There's uh, little round spaces here. And the reason why you may want to do this, at the end of the game, if you have any cards with this letter combination, you'll get two points. So if I have a, if I have a marker here and I've got a big F, big F on one of my cards, I get two points. Or if I had this over here, this is three points. If I have a little f, little f on any of my cards, I get a, a three bonus points for each one. So this is a way to earn bonus points for endgame scoring. Okay, and that's, again, utilizing the set research goal action down here. Okay. Yes? Does the card have to be completed in order to get those points? Or, or can Yes, just... you, you do not earn points. Well... I'm going to have to look at the rules, but um, I think you either get partial credit or no credit for unfinished cards. I think it's one point per covered up letter combination, mm -hmm. but these only come into play when you when, on, on completed cards. I, see. Okay. I think you do get partial credit for uncompleted cards, but only for the leaves themselves, not for these. Okay. All right. So um, first round, let's give this a shot. Again, this is our first time playing this game, so we're not going to be perfect at this. Okay, so um, we're going to have the worker placement part first, right? So I guess that starts with me. I will go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and remove that, I don't need that anymore. 
Um, and again, at the beginning of the game, we're dealt three of these pea plant cards. One goes here, one stays in our hand, one is discarded. So I've got this that I'm working on right now. And these are the letter combinations that I need. So I might do something like, um, oh, I don't know. Um, I, do, I do want some money, um, but... Okay, so I might do something like, uh, something like this. What is the gardening phase again? The gardening allows you to take a card, either a pea plant or tool, then clear off completed cards, then plant new ones. In that order. Okay, so you don't have to land here in order to get markets and tools? Cards? You don't have to. Yeah, you can use your gardening action to get pick one of your choice. I see. Mm -hmm. I'm already forgetting all that. Alright, so because I'm the first one to go here, I get this coin that is here. Now, this has no immediate effect. This is simply, you know, I, I'm now, I'm, it, for, I get first, first dibs on the blue dice when they are rolled. Yeah. So now, now it is your turn. Do I have the option of putting it in the same color but on the flag part? You can put that here, yes. Interesting. Okay. You don't get first dibs, but yeah. you get to change stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... I will go on the flag part of the red one. This one? Yeah. And which do you what what which Capital you, F on the left side. Capital F's? Yes. Alright, so now that gives you greater odds. So you've got big F, big F, big F, little F. So whereas you would have to roll a one before to get big F, big F. Now you just need to roll um, either a one or a three. Mm -hmm. To not so your chances of rolling big F big F are now doubled, yeah. allowing you to complete those cards better. Yeah. Okay, and you're the first one to go here, so you get this coin. Yeah. All right, so now it is my turn. I am going to. Um, um, I kind of want to. Hmm. We each start the game with one coin. I should have mentioned that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I will. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna go here mm -hmm. and change this to little t, little t, and I get the first. I, I'm the first one to go here, so I get this coin. Do these renew at the end of? Yes, um, they refresh. Even if you didn't pick them. Correct. Wow. I will get first dibs on the GG. On the GG. <laughs> Good game. Okay, so you get this coin, mm -hmm. and I've got one spade left, you've got one spade left. Um, so I guess the question is, what do we do? Um, How many times can you buy things? As many as, as, as many as you want and have money for. I see. But we take turns doing it. Interesting. Um, so I might actually go to the treasury to get two coins. Mm -hmm. And this is a four plus spot, so mm -hmm. in a four, okay. that only works in a four plus player game. Mm, indeed. I'm gonna get two cards here. Okay, so you can combination here or here. You pick what you like. Two cards, right? Yep, two cards. You get these two. Okay. Now, in order to even put them from my hand, you I have to use the gardening action. The gardening. Okay, that's right. Mm -hmm. Now, how? It's it only one card, like, or can I put however many cards into this area using the gardening? You, any as many as you want. I see. All right, so now we're out of worker placement things. Now we move on to the second phase, which is we're going to take all of these dice and roll them. As far as I can tell, there's no limit. And it, it doesn't say to roll less in a two-player game. So I'm going to put as many as I can into my hand, roll them. Okay, so we're going to put... All right, so now we've got to look at this. Uh, one is little t, little t, or no, big t, little t. This is genetics. We're, any genetics, we're going to reroll once. That's a lot of genetics. Well, mutations, whatever they're called. Uh, so I'm going to put all the Roman numerals there. And now we have to assign these as appropriate. So we've got a two, it's a big F, little f. 
We've got a that, it's a four, it's little r, little r. One is big R, big R by default. Um, these extra things are throwing me off. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so three is big T, little t. Um, one is big T, little t. Uh, red three is big F, big F. Uh, this blue two is that. Green one is that, that's that, that's that. Two is big G, little g. Three is big G, little g. Red one is big F, big F. So again, by using these pieces, we're changing the odds of certain letter combinations coming up. That's what we're doing. Um, now we have to re-roll these mutations. Now any, first, any other mutations that come up have to be permanent. So this is permanent, this is permanent. Again, these are uh, those are wild. So three goes here, two goes big F little F, four is there, and two is uh, little t, little t, okay? So now, um, we've done that. Now, uh, based on how we've put our shovels, we get to pick first. So I will resolve this guy. Um, let's see, so I need, where am I at? In terms of R. Okay, so I need to take one of these. Big R, little r. Put that there, and now I get to cover up big R, little r. And now, no one has first dibs. Okay, you've got first dibs here. So, you get first dibs on green. And now, I'll, I'll put some on your side here. You can cover up whatever. Okay. And now um, we're done with these. There's none in second shift. So now we go back and forth in player order until we've used everything. I need small t, small t. So I'm going to cover that up. Okay. And then it's my turn. And it's now your turn. You can now take a die of your choice. I don't understand how that went. Oh, because you are first player, so the second shift, you are the one that gets the first Well, there is no second shift. No one put anything in second shift. Okay. Had there been anything in second shift, we would have resolved the in turns that in that order first. So how does this determine? What do you mean? I'm just wondering, how do... First, we resolve first shift. Yeah. First shift, first shift, first shift, shift, first shift. Then second shift, we resolve this. Yeah. Then... Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, starting I see, I see. with okay. the first player. All right, okay. Just wanted to clarify mm -hmm. this all because I was confused. Um, now it's my turn. Yep. Which, which Do I have to pick from the red? No, you can, no, no, you can pick from anywhere now. Oh. Only the first shift people have to stay true to that color that they blocked in. Whenever you go here, mm -hmm. for that turn only, you're locked into choosing green. I see. Second shift people have no color restrictions Back, forth, back, forth. After that, no color restrictions. Only when you lock it in for first shift, you're limited to that color. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So you can pick any dye that you want. Quit looking at mine and seeing what <laughs> I need. I should be mean. I won't be mean. <laughs> Do what you want. No, that's rude. <laughs> that's funny. That's it doesn't funny. matter because I can take the red. You're going to choose this one? No, that's too... No, no, go ahead. It doesn't matter. I only have three spots on my board. Oh, that's right. So I can take this one and cover up big F, little f, even if you did choose big G, little g. That's pretty funny. No, no, I'm not going to do that. That's rude. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to... Regardless, I'm going to get what I want. So I pick what you want. All right. I'm going to... These tools, by the way, can be used whenever you, you feel like... Okay, so what did you do now? What big, did you... Big R, big R. Okay, so you took a die? That one, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to take, um, this one's going to be, well, big F, little f. Same odds. Still, either on a 2 or a 4, it's going to be big F, little f. Uh, this is same odds here, big G, little g, unless that changes. Um, so I'll be nice and take that. That <laughs> way she can take this later. And I will cover up big F, little f. I need one more to cover up the rest of it. Now I have no more dice spaces, so like I'm I'm done for this round. Oh, are these dice forever? No. Oh. Okay. We clear those off after the fact. Oh, so it would serve no purpose to even get GG, right? 
the big big G little G. Depends on if you think someone's going to modify this in the future. Right now, a big G little G is a 50-50 shot. If you roll a if you roll a 3 or a 2, yeah. the die would go here. But what if someone puts like big G big G and then big G big G and then completely wipes out the little G trait? Yeah. Then your chances of getting it in the future are, are small. I know. I'm just saying, like grabbing this dice isn't doesn't behoove me because these dice are gonna get wiped, right? Yeah, but you have to hope that they get and that gets rolled again if yeah. you need it. No, I don't need it. I was just I was just seeing what kind of possible uh, shenanigans. I see. You know. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. So we have exhausted. What we can do. I can't put any more dice down. She can't put any more dice down. So that we're done with the whole plant breeding part of it. Mm -hmm. um, next, in reverse order, you can buy upgrades. So, so I go? You go, then I go. You go, I go. You go, I go. New plot, new dice slot, action marker, hire assistant. Why do you have so much more money than I do? All right, fine. <laughs> I'm going to take an action thingy. An action marker. Yeah. So that goes up by one, and you get one of your shovels. Okay. okay. I, as my action, am going to use my grant tool oh. that I started with. It's minus two coins for a wow, research upgrade. Dude. So this action marker will cost me two, as opposed to four. So I'm going to keep that, and that's two coins. Now, does it go down? It goes up. Anytime you buy, I it see, goes up. I see. So that just means that off the off the board, you get minus two coins for it. It doesn't actually mean that it. No. Goes yes. Down. Correct. It's just the tool wherever I put it. I see. Okay. Is just yeah. So this is now a discard pile. That's cool. I can't do anything else. Okay. Well, I've got more money to spend. That's insane. I'm going to buy a dice slot for two. And that goes up by one. Oh, it's new plot, new dice. There we go. And do I want to hire an assistant? I could. Um, assistants. Let's see. I can exhaust Sister Maria here to, I guess, change. What does Elizabeth do? Validate a trait matching your phenotype research marker. No. Oh. oh, that's no wrong one. Maria. When taking a dime, mutate it. Oh, so I can I can I can change it into anything I want. That's really cool. I might once per round I can change a die to anything that I want it to be. Nice. That's pretty darn powerful. Um Brother Leopold, your coin costs are reduced by one to a minimum of one. Mm. So that's nice too. Okay, so I'm actually going to spend uh, for hiring an assistant two coins, and I want Sister Maria so I can modify dice in the future freely, mm -hmm. uh, but only once per round. There's a little exhaust symbol on it. Okay, so we're done with research upgrades. We move to round two, and now we reset everything. End of round, that goes up by one. Uh, you get the first player marker now. Um, reduce the abacus prices by one. Wow. Um, next, we refresh plant and tool cards and assistants. So these assistants go away, and three new ones come out. What do they do? Um, I'll explain in a little bit. These all go away. Or, or you can, okay. Can I take them? If you'd like. I I'm just sorry. <laughs> you weren't getting in my way at all. It's fine. Wow. I was excited. I like the tools. I see. Um, refresh plant card and coins. So these coins come back out. Two, three, four. These dice go away. So basically, we're resetting everything to how it was. I get my tr troughs, or not troughs, the spades. Yes. Yeah, and that one, so we have four now. And I think, I think we're good for round two. I think you won. <laughs> not necessarily. That you had a ton of money starting, oh man, that was good. 
It was that. Yeah. Well, anyway. Wow. Oh, these dice. Yeah, those get, yeah. All right, so starting with you, you get to take an action for round two. You've got four spades. So do you. <laughs> All right. I am going to... And these stay, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Uh, gardening? What does gardening do again? Gardening, you get to pick one card, mm -hmm. then clear any cards that are finished, then plant new cards onto your table. One card. Okay. So That's the only way to clear yes. things, right? Right. So if you were to take it now, you would get one card, and then you could put a new plant down. That's what you would do. So you're going to treasury. You're going to take two coins. Yeah, before you get it. I see. <laughs> what happened to all the money? There was a bunch of money here. What happened? You took it all. <laughs> I guess. Um, okay. Um, so now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I am going to want first dibs on GG. Mm -hmm. Good game. GG. <laughs> well, that's first dibs. That's not first dibs, right? That's the flag. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I meant to do that. Okay. I got my spots confused. Um, I will do... <sighs> I'll do flag on that one. This? Yep. And what do you want to change it to? Or do you want to remove this? Or do you want to add a new one? How do you want to do that? Um, actually, you know what? No. Wait, I take it back. Oh. Man. You don't have to do that. Yeah. See, I don't know what you're going to do next, though. <laughs> yeah, you don't see what I have planted, so. I think you're going to take the gardening tool thing. Mm. It's too bad you can't hire an assistant right off the bat. Mm, no. Alright, what are these? Um, this is the pollen brush. Whenever you put a leaf onto a card, mm -hmm. if you have another card or more than one, if you have more than one peat plant, you can then mark off the same letter combination across all of your cards. This uh, flower pot acts like a temporary gardening spot, but once you harvest that pea plant, this is gone as well. Wait, it, this wait. Is, this is, so this, this is, is a, like this? This is like, this is like, this is like this, okay? It's the same thing. Extra plot, except this is temporary. I see. So This is permanent through upgrades. This is temporary. So it goes away as soon as the very you, first As soon as plot. you harvest it. Harvest this one or, yes. or anyone here? The one that you put on it. Okay. It's confusing. No, <laughs> it's not. If you put a plant here yeah. and you harvest it, this goes away. Okay. All right. That's... So they don't really move down. They just no. stay on their own. Correct. Box. Rake, sort of like what my new assistant does, for a one time you can modify a die, the rake. Okay. When taking a die, mutate it. Okay, I'm going to take the flower pot. Alright, so it's a temporary... Actually, can I do this? Well, pick one. Yeah, can I do that? That would be, I choose this, right? Okay. And I can place one down. So, in order, you're going to choose that. Now you're going to clear any out. Now, yes, you can place them down. Mm -hmm. So, you can put your flower pot down and then put two more plants down. If you want. Oh, I can do that. Well, yeah, the flower pot you can put down any time, I think. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Again, this is our first time, so yeah, you could do that. So, for the record, she played her flower pot for the extra spot. Then she took the gardening action, which is take a card, remove any finished cards, and then plant new plants, which is what she just did. One here and one here. Yeah. 
Okay. So you're done? Yes. Okay. Um, I am going to... Mm. I kind of need to get more stuff. Um... Alright, I'm going to garden myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's temporary. There we go. Garden, I'm gonna... So, I get to take a card. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take, um... Um, I'm going to take the pollen brush mm. Mm. and um, I'm going to clear out any cards that I've done, which I can't, and I'm going to put this one down. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Okay. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to, I will do, I will do this is a tough one. I'll do flag on the orange and remove that one. Remove this? Well, actually no. Sorry. Flag on the blue one. What do you want on the blue one? Capital R's on the left. This one? Yeah. Okay. I am going to put Do I get a coin for that? Because that was the first one there? I thought I gave it to you. There's no coin here, so someone took you it. You put it... I think you put it here. Well, then take it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... Yeah, because I had three. Okay. The time. That's fine. Um... Let's go with... That. Mm. And... Well, do I need to? If I need to, I could go here and get first dibs on that, and then use... Okay. So, right, I'm gonna just go here, get first dibs, I'll take this coin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go on the flag there and remove that. Remove thing. this. Alright, so you get a coin. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And with my remaining trough, um, I am going to probably pick up more cards. Um, hmm. What looks tempting over here? Well, out of all of these, I mean... Alright, I'm gonna go here and take these two, and they go into my hand. Nice. And that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. So now we've done our actions, and now we set up for this part. So again, we're gonna roll these dice, and assign them out. Lots and lots and lots of dice. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Mutations put off to the side. Oh, only two. Okay. Um, so the three, four. I'll start with the ones that don't have any. I know it's just <laughs> one, two. Yeah. So this would go here. This goes here. Let's do the yellows. There's no thing. So it's one, fours, twos, and threes go in the middle. Um, the reds do have a special case. So we've got. Uh, We've got some twos, that's big F, little f. Mm -hmm. We've got some threes, which is big F, big F. Mm -hmm. We've got big R, okay, so we've got ones are big R, big R. We've got twos are big R, little r. Fours are same, big R, little r. And we've got two genetics, or two mutations. So another yellow mutation, and this four, which is that. Okay, so now starting with these guys, um, so I go first here in this, so I get to pick the red one that I want or need. Um, I am actually going to use, uh, Sister Maria 
to mutate a die because I need a little left, little left, but there's no little left, little left. Mm. So I'm going to take this and mutate it to the die that I need. Nice. Um, which is little left, little left. At least that's how I think it works. Let me just make sure that the back of the rule book is lacking that little guide there, so I may have to look. Mm. Uh, once per plant breeding phase, when taking a die, you may validate any trait of that dice color instead of using the die. Okay. Yep. So anything. Okay. Wow, nice. So I'm going to exhaust her and use that for little f, little f, even though it doesn't. So now it is your turn. Oh, actually, no. No, it's still your turn. Yeah. So I'm going to take big G, little g, and use my pollen brush to take care of both mm -hmm. big G's, little g's. So that's that and that. Nice. And this is discarded. And now we're done with these. There's no second shift. So now um, we go in player order, starting with you. So now you get first dib, I get, you go, I, yeah, back and forth. Okay. Um, I'll take TT. This one here? No, the big T, small T. Well, okay. Number three, sorry. Well, they're all TTs. I know, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, so oh. you get to cover up. I'm covering up with the dice. Yeah, there you go. Um... I need big R, little r. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that. And that covers that up. I'll take big R, big R. Big R, big R. Mm. Now, even though I've got an additional dice slot, um, actually, what I could do, I'm going to take this mutation and take a coin. Oh, very nice, very nice. I couldn't cover anything else up, but I can still use mutations for money. I'll take big G, small G. Big G, small G. Mm -hmm. That one. There's no other mutations, right? There's no other mutations. Mm -hmm. I need another leaf. Uh, here, use that one. No, are they limited though? No, there's more in the box. Oh, okay. I was just, I only grabbed some. Whew. Okay. Okay. Um, can you do anything else? Can I can't do anything else. You're out of dice slots. Um... You have a tool that you could use with whatever it is you're doing? Yeah, I'll use pollen brush and complete both of these. And wait, wait, did you take... No, 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 no. What? You, the pollen brush, you need a big F, big F. Did you take a big F, big F? Oh, that's what a pollen brush the is? The pollen brush copies one and gives it to the other ones. So you, in order for you to use big F, big F, you have to take a big F, big F. Then you copy that to the other plants. I it doesn't give you a free one. Can I return the TT then? Yes. And use big F, big F instead? Yes. Okay. So get rid of your T's on yeah, your one card. Yeah, I did. Okay. One. So put the uh, one on big F, big F. Yep. And, and then, then the with rest. the pollen brush, big F, big F. And then there's and then another one. one. Big F, big F. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll just. Yeah, okay. There. So now that these are completed. You, you keep them on there until you take the gardening action on your next uh, turn. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, it's, it's beginning to make a little bit more. It fun. seems like this game is like you gotta like understand the action. The rounds before you yeah. understand why you do things on a yeah. particular round. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're out of things to do. Now we're on the research, starting with me. Yeah. Um, I will. Are there any assistants that jump out at me here? Um, what does this one do? Sister Elizabeth does what? Validate a trait matching your phenotype research marker. Oh, interesting. So if I have a phenotype research marker here, I can use her to take a die. Oh, that's interesting. Well, not take a die, but I can just... Interesting. This is extra dice spaces, but at cost. This one is... You just keep taking unlimited second shift, or what is that? Father Edward... Um, take a plant card when empty becomes a permanent new plot. Oh, jeez. Okay, so you can have, like, unlimited cards with that thing. Um, I don't know if I want... Wait, which one was this one? This is unlim... This is two more dice spots at cost. You have to pay one coin to open these up. Every time? Every time. Okay. Every time you use this card, you have to pay a coin. Okay. Um, her is... If you have a marker here... Mm -hmm. 
and you can exhaust her, and then if you have a little left, a little left, you can you can put a leaf on it. I see. One time around. One time per round. One time per round. Jesus. Um, but I don't have any things like that yet. Yeah. Um, I might just take a. See, I could I could spend all of my money and buy a fifth action marker. To what end, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what, I will. I'm gonna spend all four of my money on the last action nice. marker. That'll give me more to work with later. So I get my fifth trough, and now you get to go. Okay. You've got five monies. Man. I'm gonna have to, but then how would I, yeah, I can't let you go ahead of me with actions, so I'm gonna have to do Spend all your money on a fifth that action? Sucks. Okay. I wanted an assistant. You have one assistant? I have one assistant. Oh my gosh. I'm almost tempted. But you're ahead of me in plants and stuff, don't worry about it. Not really, not really, babe. <laughs> All right, so. so you get the fifth trough. And now we're out of money to spend on research. So now we go back to cleaning up again. Round three, you can take your markers back. Uh, these dice come off. Did these go down by one? They all go down mm -hmm. by one. Wow. Ones that can't go anymore stay on the one. Mm -hmm. This one's yours. Yep, and this is yours. These get refreshed? Yep. So all these would get discarded? Yep. Okay. Sorry, I got it. It's behind you. I got it. No, I, I did. I got it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh. Sorry. Okay. Um, just Can make sure we. Mine? Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Thank you. Um, advanced round tracker. First player token goes to me. Reduce abacus prices. Plant tools. Assistance. Coins. One, two, three. Four. And recover action. Okay, so I think we're good. So now, starting with me, we're on round three. I'm going to go ahead and place. Actually, I'm going to do gardening first. And I'm going to put these in my score pile because they're all done. Mm -hmm. Well, first I get to take a card. So, what would I want to take? Um, graft knife. There's a graph knife. Graph knife. Uh, when taking a die, take another. No dice slot required. Hmm. Wow. That's nice. What's the seed bag? I'm assuming that means um, draw five plant cards and keep two. Hmm. I'm going to take the graph knife. Um, and then clear it, score these. And then I get to sow plants. So these two are going down. Okay. And that was my action. So now you get to take an action. I'm... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, my first action... You're fine, seriously. You've got two completed cards on your thing. Yeah, but I, I, I can't even complete them because I have one card and it, it would be a waste to garden them right now. Well, then get more cards and then garden on your next action. I know. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I know. Um... So 
What are the use of systems? Of course. <laughs> so let's start with um, Brother Alipus. Alipus. When gardening, draw an additional card. Mm -hmm. This guy is uh, Father uh, Omari. Place an action marker to roll one of each die color. Validating the trait. So you're gonna put it's it's like an action spot. You put a trough on it, you roll four dice, and any that match, it says you can validate the traits on your it's a random chance. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Alright, and then lastly, Sister Mary y is the same thing. Or Sister pollen. May act, acts like the pollen brush. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab two of these. Alright. And I'm gonna grab this one and this one. Okay. And got Alright, I'm gonna go with uh, uh I want uh first dibs on that. So I'm gonna take that coin. I'm going to I'm going to grab. No, because if I do, well, oh, two coins. Two coins. I am going to get, um, I think I'm just gonna continue gobbling these up as I can. Um, I guess I'll go with first dibs on the red. Um. First dibs on G's. Okay. I will take first dibs on yellow. <laughs> Garden. You're gonna garden. Okay, so first clear off any completed card. Oh, first take something from here or draw from the deck. Okay, and it has to be either mark it or this It one? could be either here or here. Okay. Either draw blindly or take one from the face up area. Plant or tool. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Screw it. Flower pot. Take in the flower pot. And I'm going to use it. That goes to your hand. Well, yeah, if you're going to use it, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. I'll use it. Um, okay. And, and now I'll you clear off those. Clear off these. Sure. <laughs> Is that a complete... Okay, so... Yeah, these are both completed. Wow, you bent the crap out of those cards. Sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna start wearing gloves when you play this. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm nervous. About what? It's for growing plants for crying out loud. What's so? It's supposed to be calming. When I used to grow plants, well, one plant. You're I was not gonna nervous. kill them. I was nervous too, and I actually did kill it. I see. And it's funny because this is like one of my favorite subjects. Is it really? Yeah, I mm. love biology. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You're wrong. Um, all right. So <laughs> oh. I'm, okay. okay. <laughs> Say that to all the biologists out there. Uh huh. Um, I am going to. Oh, these are supposed to go back. Yeah, they were. <laughs> um, okay. I need more cards, I think. So I'm actually going to. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here to take this tool, mm -hmm. and then with my seed bag, I'm just gonna use it to draw five cards and keep two. Wow. There's no reason to just draw blindly. Mm -hmm. So now out of all these cards, I have to try and figure out which ones would mesh well together, if at all. Um, problem is trying to organize these. Um, no. Uh, Alright, you know what, I'm going to, ladies, I'm going to have to do this face down. And then, I guess, take your turn while you're looking. Okay. Um, out of all of these, I guess I'll take these two in my hand and the rest go away. I'm going to... Pay one coin to just cover up something off the bat. Oh, you mean this university? Yeah. Okay. All right. So are you out of uh, action markers? I am. So yeah. you have to be. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out which one to cover. Okay. Well, I have to wait until you. I'm gonna wait until you do that. Good. You're good. Yeah. Okay. So, mutation, 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 we'll reroll those. Okay, so the green ones, there's no, th okay, so it's ones, threes, okay. Reds, big F, big F, uh, it's mutation. Three is big F, big F. Four is big F, little f. Yellow is big T, big T. Two, okay, this is normal. Blue is not normal. That's... <laughs> Ones are there, four is, okay. So there's no little r, little r ever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and now we have to re-roll these mutations. Um, okay. Genetics stay. Four. Uh, it's that. And, oh, mutation. Fours are small g, small g. This is, okay. So, starting with, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, yeah, my bad. Good lord. Um, okay, so I will take, out of all of these, I'm going to take the big R, little r, and cover up that one. And this guy, I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I guess... I would love to take, <sighs> if I had a pollen brush or something, that would have been awesome. I guess I'll take, I have no choice, big F, little f, and I'll take uh, that. And you here mm -hmm. can take a green one of your choice. I'll take, um, hmm. I'll say big G, big G. Big G, big G. Mm -hmm. That goes on your... Oh, dang it. I keep forgetting. Yeah. <laughs> I keep putting it like on the card. Yellow one. I have a marker here. So um, I need a little T, little T. But I'll say, yeah, so I guess I'll just take that one. Okay. And now there's no second shifter. So now in player order, we start taking again. Um, I'm going to go with uh, big F, little f again and clear that. Oh, so even if we have no spades, we can still draft again? Yeah, we continue drafting until, until we're out of, of our spaces. Spots. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay, okay. So, okay, I see. So you can do that. I'm out of space. So it's, now it's your turn. Okay. Um, you're out of spaces, so do I take two turns? Yeah, go ahead and take two. Okay. I'll do, um, big T, big T. Okay. That goes there and you get, yeah. And I'll do, um, G, G. L uh, big G, little G. Sorry. Big G, little G. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> 
Uh, so we're out of spaces now, right? Mm -hmm. So now research. Starting with you, you can buy stuff if you want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hire an assistant. All right. So which one are you going to want? This one. Ah, the one that's uh, pollen, brush. pollen brush lady. Yeah. So that goes up by, you have to pay one coin and this goes up by one. Mm -hmm. um, do I want one? Um, I kind of want uh, Father Omari, but um, that's it's risky. Father Omari is um, place an action marker to roll one of each dice color, validating the traits. So I need to make sure that I've got. That's pretty powerful. It's risky though, because if nothing comes up that I need, then unless I use. Her, I wonder if I can use her uh, when taking a die, mutated. I'm not technically taking a die. I'm sure you can chain. Mm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Well, if I were to buy something else, what would I buy? Uh, maybe another dice slot. Um, I might buy another dice slot. So, for one, I'm going to buy this. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was hoping you were just going <laughs> <laughs> to I can't do anything. You don't want to buy a new plot? <laughs> you are evil. <laughs> Look, he is laughing maniacally there. <laughs> no, all right. It's fine. I might buy another dice slot. That's fine. Um, just because it's worth two. Or I can hire an assistant. But that would use up one of my shovels. Um, I hate to use a spade for that. So I will go ahead and use my remaining two to get another dice slot. So that I can possibly assign more during that phase. All right. So I'm out of research buying your. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so mad. At you. Wow. <laughs> Those gestures do not become you. Not family friendly at all. I know. That's why I kept it out of the game. <laughs> Advance the round tracker. Round round four. All right. So this goes to you. Um, reduce abacus prices. Put those fingers down before I break them off. They weren't, they weren't fingers, <laughs> it's the spade. Refresh plant. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And there's oh, we have to refresh? Uh, I'm out of draw cards, so I gotta shuffle these and draw new ones. One, two, three. Spade, spade, spade. Let's spade. give you a spade from the back of the head. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you play with competitive people. I'm not competitive. Mm. I'm just All right. Passionate. <laughs> sure. These dice go away. Yep. All right. Um. So from here. Um, I think we got everything, right? Yeah. Action markers, offspring dice. Okay. So, starting with you in your spades, you get to go first. Oh, hooray. Oh, we have to refresh. Two, three, four. Okay. Um... I have first dips on F's. On F's. All right. There you go. Got mm -hmm. your coin. I am going to um, get first dibs on yellow. Did I use the? Oh, no. I used the C bag. That goes discard. I need the graph knife. I could have used that. Well, I guess I could use it for this turn. I'm going to take the flag off of RR. Okay. And I get the coin. Yes, you do. Oh, my coin goes there. I'm going to get first dibs on green. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to take the flag off of the red one. Off the red one. Okay. 
I am going to... Um... I am going to set a research goal. Ah. So I have to pay two monies. And I am going to put one on this. Big R, big R, big R, little R. <laughs> okay. Wow, <laughs> now you're trying to cover up your array. <laughs> what is what is these? That is Father Anton. Um, you always lead the second shift. So you're always in first if anyone goes here. This is reduce Father Leopold, or Brother Leopold. Your coin costs are reduced by one. So when you're buying research, it's always reduced by one. Is it only for the research? Yes. Well, yeah, well, actually, no, I think it's all coin costs. Any coin. Like even here right, and all mm -hmm, that? To a minimum of one. Wow. So you always have to pay at least one. Mm -hmm. This is um, Father Infinite Edward. Plants. And Take a plant card when empty becomes a permanent new plot. So this is like a new plot for yourself. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Did you just plant it on his head or his face or what? <laughs> How does that work? I don't know. <laughs> He's just standing in the garden holding, holding the plant in the dirt. Like, just... That has to be the most boring job. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just, How does that work? I'm going to take a tool, actually. Okay. And I'm going to take... The watering can. The watering can. Wait, do I want to take the watering can? No, I don't want to take the watering can. I'll take this thing. The pollen brush. Oh, I get two pollen brushes. I can do that. You can kind of screw me. Ah, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Although, I feel like this is a waste because I feel like you can actually do something like that. And I put you the money. And I do this, but then I get first of some Yeah, pull and brush. Alright. I'm going to go to the treasury and take two coins. You son of a thing. You're a jerk. I am a jerk. <laughs> I wish I could hold my actions. Mm. I feel like whichever one I do is kind of like useless. Now, the mutation has to be on its own specific color. You can't like mutate. Like, no, it has to be of its. To... Right, it has to be okay. its color. Yeah. Because these colors represent different aspects of a plant plant height, pod color, flower color, and seed shape. Okay. Okay. Oh, because science. Because science. I'll take two cards. Alright. Oh, it's only one round left.
bite it. Put it in your mouth. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I don't know what to do, babe. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Stop being so competitive. That's what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. It's your turn. All right. I, I have no more action. I will garden. I'm going to clear this one off. I wanted to save on that, but um, I've got all these dice slots and I need to use them. Mm -hmm. um, I get to pick one too. I'm going to take this watering funnel. So I pick that first, then I clear those, then I can plant one. I mm have -hmm. um, all of these. I guess this one. Fine. And I will go ahead and use my, well, maybe I'll save it for the last round. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, so now we move on to the dice part, right? All right, here we go, 20 dice. All right. Watch out, Abigail, you want to come. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> hey, you try holding 20 <laughs> dice. You just roll them on the floor. No, wrong. <laughs> mutation, mutation, mutation. Wow, that's a lot of mutations. I have to reroll all those. All right, so all these are regular, so this should be easy, right? Mm -hmm. Ones is a mutation. Twos go here. Fours, uh, twos and threes go there. Fours go there. Twos and twos go there. Fours go here. Reroll these suckers. Uh, mutations there and there. Two mute red mutations. Two. Green mutation, a lot of mutations. Three, that was that. Four, and a one. All right, so starting with you, you get, actually no, we have to go in line. So you get first red dibs. Okay. I'll take this one here. Okay. Um, I get first green dibs, which is, I do need small g, small g. So I'm going to take that one. And I get a plant, small g, small g. First dibs on yellow. I'm going to take, um, I guess, I, don't, I only have, yeah, big T, big T. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that there. And, okay, so now second shift, no one's there. So now in turn order, you go, I go, you go, I go, you go, I go. I'll take um, R, R. And I'll use my pollen brush, Sister May. Okay. To cover up all of these. Wow. Bam. One. I guess we need more of these leaves. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, I am going to... <sighs> okay. Um, none of those. None of those. Big D vanilla. Wow, okay. Great. That's wonderful. Well, I can always do mutations. So, I am going to use a red mutation and a combining big F, big F to cover up my little F, little, little F. So, um, there goes little F, little F there. It's still your turn. Uh, no, it's your turn now. Oh, did we complete the first shift already? Yes, we did. Oh. Alright, I'll take big T, small T. Okay. And I'll use my other pollen brush. My gosh. To cover up these. Do I need more leaves? Yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright. One, two. Pollen machine. Three. And that's it. Wow. Okay. You're doing good with those pollens. <sighs> All right, um, I'm going to, hmm. well, I don't have a lot of choice. I have to mutate another one. Big R, big R, big G, big G, and big T, big T. None of those are available. So what I could do is I could opt not to cover those up. Or what I could do, oh, the graph knife. I can use the graph knife to take a die and it not, and I could take another one without filling up a die slot. So I can, how does that work? Um, 
When taking a die, take another. No dice slot required. So, how does that work when I take one of these? Okay, so I'm going to chain, and I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the graph knife to take a mutation die. Now, when you take a mutation die, I'm going to use it for a free combo changer thing. Mm -hmm. So, that covers that. What's that card say? What card? That one. I'm getting to it. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm going to take this, then this is normal for the, the big G, big G. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take play this to take another die for free without the need for a dice slot. Um, so I'm going to take the little t, little t, and then I'm going to mutate it with Sister Maria to turn it into big T, big T. So free dice slot for me and mutating that to big T, big T. Sure. All right, so I've, like, I've used up everything. And I'm going to use my watering funnel tool to complete big R, big R. All right, and I'm done. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Yeah. All right. So at this point, um, now we, uh, oh, research, right? Mm -hmm. um, I get first dibs on research. Mm -hmm. um, hiring assistant. Reducing coin cost by one is kind of cool. That would make things cheaper for me later. The question is, do I want to? I mean, that's something up at... How much money do I plan on spending next round? I mean, come on. No, maybe I should not. Dice slot, new plot. I might just keep my money. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna buy anything. Really? Yeah, really. So it is. Uh, you get to buy something if you want research. Okay. Give me one second. I mean, what I could do actually. You know what? I will, I'm going to take Brother Leopold. My coin costs are now permanently reduced by one. That goes up by one. <laughs> you keep getting everything I want. Sorry. Everything. <laughs> sorry, everything. I'm sorry. I know, right? Oh my god. There was one other game where you kept doing that. It was so frustrating. <laughs> it works out the same regardless of how I do this. Yeah. Money-wise. Sure. Doesn't work out the same for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> That sucks. That really sucks that I needed that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do a dice slot, I guess. Okay. And did you increase? Did you already increase that? Yeah. I okay. Did. All right. Uh, I need a dice slot thing. Okay. And I'm gonna discard this. Used it. And I guess that's it. All right. So I'm gonna clear these off. Your dice can come off. After this. <laughs> that was nice. I'm glad our family could come together. I can't believe you took everything I want. No, I'm just kidding. Uh huh. I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. keep yelling. It <laughs> makes you sound <laughs> rational. Oh, good job. That's funny. Oh, that's so I think, okay, so I got first player, mm -hmm. uh, round tracker goes to five last round, and we 
reduce abacus prices by one. Uh, we skip research for the last round. Oh, we do? Yeah, because there's no point. Uh, refresh plant and tool cards, assistance coins. I always forget these coins. All right. And I think that's it. All right, so for my first action, I am going to... Wow, that... Uh, That looks great on you, that, that, <laughs> that look of me, 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 me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kidding. All right, I'm going to pay one coin mm -hmm. to put a marker on FF. Jesus. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> you are so enjoying this. This is cool. Uh, you're still, you've got more cards completed than it I do. It doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to pay one coin. Did, did you do this one? No, that was from a previous round. All right. I will pay one coin to cover this thing up. Okay. Um, I need a leaf. Of course you do. <laughs> Taking every single leaf in the game. Sorry, I build up <laughs> again. I don't know. All right, I am going to go to the treasury and get two coins. I'm going to That's the ferrets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um Um. Oh, when I go here, I have to pay one coin, right? Yeah. My my coin, it's um, two, but I reduce my cost by one. Yeah. That's what I was debating on last round. I had two coins. I'm like, well, I'm just going to pay for that anyway. Yeah. But having the reduction is nice. I'm going to go on the R. The R's. Which the first dibs are or the symbol R? The... Oof. Just the first dibs, I think. Dibs? Yeah, dibs. All right, you get a coin. I am going to come here, spend two coins, and claim... Wow, dude. That's insane. Um... Oh my god! I should have done that. I was... <sighs> I give up. I give up. I give up. <laughs> We'll finish this out, but no, I'm just, you might actually get more points than me, we'll see. I'm so mad. I was trying to save up money and I didn't think that you can actually take both slots. This is a cutthroat game, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> You've been itching to play it. Yeah, I regret it. I'll, I'll, play, I'll play solo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you like the game, you don't like me. <laughs> I see. called Blocking Dad's Gaming Addiction. Wow. <laughs> blocking Gaming Addiction. All right. Um, Dad's Blocking Addiction. Yeah, there you go. That's better. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay. I will garden. No, no, I don't. I don't want to garden. I want to... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to play this. <laughs> First dibs on teas. Okay. You get a coin. I'm going to garden and get these off. I get a tool first. I'll take the rake. Actually, can I get first dibs on G? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> so these come over here and I get to put that in, which is good luck with what just... Is this one again? Graphnik? You, when you take a die, you can take another one for free without needing space for it. Okay. Yeah. Lay down, dog. Alright, I'm going to... Oops. 
Uh, I'm an idiot. Why? I did that out of order. It's fine. I should have done the take a card action first and then gardened. Mm -hmm. Um. You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sucks to be you. <laughs> I'll do, um... These coins are so useless now. Well, I think at end game, you do get money or you get points for that. Um, let's see. I'll just, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll garden. No, I don't want to garden. Do I want to garden? <laughs> yeah, I'll garden. Unspent coins. One point for each unspent coin. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to garden, complete all these cards. Okay. Did you use those garden brushes over there? Are they done? Yeah, they're done. Alright, so I'm, here, discard them over here. Alright, I will. Wait a second. They're all done. Did you pick a tool first? What do you mean? Before you... When you garden, you pick uh, pick something. Oh. Uh, Alright. There. Alright. <laughs> and then you... Okay, now you put stuff down here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I put this stuff here. Okay. And with my last remaining turn, which is pointless at this point, because um, I can't put any down. Um, I guess I'll get first dibs on. Well, let's see. <laughs> Look, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm going to be mean, and I'm going to put small t, small t, right there. Rude. So okay. rude. <laughs> you know, I was thinking of doing that to you in the beginning, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. That's okay. I haven't done that to you the entire game, but I guess... You've been doing other things the entire game, just saying. <laughs> you need big t, big t on both. It's fine. It'll be fine. All right, so... Wow, that is evil, too. <laughs> I have one more action. Yes, you do. That is evil! <laughs> That's bull... You better take that off. You can take that off right now. You can do something else. I can't. How about this? I did it out of order. I'll, I'll let you put no, it back in order I'm good. if you take that thing off. I'm good. That's mean. down by like 50 points. No, you're not. not. Yes, you scored four cards. You've got more than I do. This is BS, dude. I'm going to have to do this now. Spend two coins just to cover up one of the stupid ass stupid teeth. Wow. You're getting mad. <laughs> BS. That's what it is. I cannot believe you did that. How do I how do I take that off? Can I use my action to take that off? Unless you have a way to manipulate dice, like the rake or something. Wow, dude. Which you don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I'm not. Uh... You know what? I guess I'm doing my own laundry tonight. Okay. <laughs> you could. Draw a card and. I'm taking those points back. I'm not using that. What are you action. doing? I'm gonna take this. Wait, what are you doing? I'm going here. Can I draw blind? Wait, you just went there. No, I don't want to go there. I want to go here, so I took the coins back. Okay, and then you take that TT off. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay. Boom. Ray. <laughs> Did you like plant that or something? I looked at it first. I'll say that. No, that's. Dang. You can't Fine. be doing it. That's cheating. It's not cheating. It's making sure. <laughs> Dang it. Fine. <laughs> at least I don't Are you know. done cheating? I wasn't cheating. Looking at a card before drawing it is cheating. I, I was wondering, should I do this one? I think I think if I do this So one, let me look I'm at the like... top card to see if I want to take that action. No. Get out of here. I'm kidding. Wow, this is not competitive, <laughs> folks. Not competitive at all. I'm not all. competitive. Okay, no, right. I knew I was. Are we do done? Yes. Yeah, Holy cow! I can't believe you did that. That's awful. <laughs>
Yo, I made a mistake, so, you know. I should have gardened last, <laughs> but I didn't. What a mistake! <laughs> oh man, it's rough, dude. Oh, I forgot about mutations, that's right. You can mutate. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so twos and threes go there. One's there. Let me see the book real quick. Get out! Come on! I now. just want to see the book! Am I not allowed to look at the rules? Trying to find something in there <laughs> to bail yourself out of this is I, low, even no, for No, people do this all the time. They look at the rules to see if they can do something else if they missed it. Mm -hmm. Is that not a good thing to do? Sure. It's amazing. You only do this when you lose. No, absolutely <laughs> not. I do this as well to help you out in other games, you mm. know? Like in Destiny. Sure. Oh Alright, um, starting with first dibs, people. Go ahead and pick your thing. Can I see that so I can follow my rounds? Thank yes. you. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> RR. <laughs> Which one? The, the big one. Big R, big R. Yes. <laughs> a green? Yeah. Which one do you want? GG? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I want the big G, big G. <laughs> a good game. <laughs> Alright. Uh, no second shift, so now we go in player order. Um, I will take the. Um, there is no small F, small F, but I can. Rotate that. I also have a rake, but um, yeah, so I guess I'll just do FF or no GG rather small G small G one doesn't go on TT by the way What one goes on the middle T? Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. I mm -hmm. forgot that was there Yeah, okay, so What was I doing before I was interrupted uh, small G small G There's that see I interrupted to help you out. Okay <laughs> Your turn I'll take, um, oh, it doesn't really matter who's playing. <sighs> you have so many rake things, so you can modify it any dice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Does that mean like any color? What do you mean? Like your the no, rake? No, not any color, only the letters. I see. You also get a free harvest at the end of the game. So the ones that you complete now, you can harvest for end game scoring. Okay. I guess I'll take this one before you take it. Okay. <laughs> I am going to exhaust her so I can get a big F, big F, and turn it to a little F. F, little F, little F. Wow. Okay. I'll take small G's. Okay. I am going to take this uh, mutation. Take a coin. Hmm. And you're out of space. Yep. Right. I still have the graph knife though, right? What is a graph knife? When you take a die, you can take another one for free. Oh my god. Can you do anything with it? When it says take it, okay, so you can't change it. You can just. Right, you just take, take it. it. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Can I take the mutation then? If along you, with this thing and get a want. coin? Yeah. And that's all I can do. And this mutation is only for a certain color, right? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I can't do anything else. I don't have any more cards. So, end of game. We mm -hmm. uh, Let's go ahead and resolve these. Do you have any plants that you can harvest? Yeah. Okay. Just, just the one. Alright, I'll just put these off for right now. Alright, so now we count up points. Um... So what, how many points do you have on yours? I have 20, 30, 40, 48, 55, but that's plus this stuff. Yeah. Um, 
So now I gotta figure out. There's no score pad that comes with this. So let's take the R's. So with the R's, I got two points each, it's eight. So it's eight more points. So I had what, 55 or 40, no. I had 55, I think, something like that. I need to write this down. Mm -hmm. Score pad would have been nice. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'll do these first, then recount. So the R's, I have one big R, big R, and three big R, little R's. That's eight. So eight points plus the Fs, I have big three of those. So that would be six points. And then the Gs, I have big, big, so I have three of those. So that's another six. And then I have two coins, that's two. And then points, I have 20. All right, so it's 20, 30, 40, 55. So add those up, and that's 57, 63, 69, 77. Wow. What did you get? 65. 60. I have this, 67. Uh, I, had I just needed one, just one of those. So you had 67, I had 77. These helped me big time. Yeah. I was... Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that good, huh? I should have done it. Like... Well, I couldn't do it because I kept trying to save money. As soon as I... Like, I was like, okay, next turn I'm going to do it. And then you blocked. You blocked, like, at least four times. That was so frustrating. So, what did you think of this? Did you like the game... I liked the game. I would not play this again with how frustrating it is. It feels like there's a runaway... Like, I think you starting off first on almost everything in the beginning was so helpful. And I feel like I was trying to catch up and I couldn't. Spending five coins just to get an another action was so frustrating, but I had to. I couldn't, you know, being down an action is pretty messed up, mm -hmm. you know? So it's so frustrating. I, I can't not play this again. <laughs> I understand. I think it's weird. It's like the scaling on player count. I'm surprised that all 20 dice were used in a two-player game and mm -hmm. all 20 dice were used in a five-player game. And plus, like, the number of spaces here, like, can you imagine in a four- or five-player game fighting for control mm -hmm. over these? The second shift we barely used. But I imagine in a four- or five-player game you'd see a lot of that. I, I It just seems like there's... There's very little balance, like, with regards to yeah. player count. I like the, the game mechanics. It's just... It's... It's a tough one. Like I feel it's very, it's too cutthroat. Yeah, it's too com well, competitive. <laughs> it's well, too you're competitive. competitive not I'm me. not. I'm not competitive. What stinks though is that I feel like I played. This is the first time that I actually feel like I played to the best of my ability, honestly. And the fact that I was so hard trying to catch up and I never could get there. Um, it was rough. It was a rough ride, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I I think. Like, comp component-wise and art style, um, everything worked. Even the basic components are okay. I mean, the upgrade pack definitely makes things look nicer. Uh, like, these coins, part of the upgrade pack. But the core game, like, everything was pretty pretty well put together, and the art style and the quality was good. Um, my problem with the rule book was a lot of times it would refer to genotypes and phenotypes, and I'm like, just... Tell me in layman's terms so I don't have to reread this part. You know, I, I, I appreciate the nod toward education. I, I really do. But I need a frame of reference. I'm familiar with Lords of Waterdeep, so I know how typical worker placement goes. When you start adding in homogeneous dominant and traits and other things, I'm like, well, I don't know, how, do I, how does that convert to board game speak? And... I kind of got some of it, kind of had to reread part of the rule book. But for the most part, like, 
this is a game that's gonna you're gonna take one or two times to play. Mm -hmm. um, it does catch your attention though from across the room. I think all this colorful dice. It that's does. cool. I had a great first impression of this. Like I looked at the videos, and even though it was complicated, I really wanted to play this. I love the theme. Um, it's just unfortunate how um, teeth grinding it is. There, I mean, with only five rounds and only like one space, like. It seems like things are so limiting. I can't imagine three or more players playing this and fighting for control over these spaces. This would cause a lot of table flips. <laughs> I think so. There's so this this the way this is designed. You're looking at some really big cutthroat worker placement here. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some worker placement games that are lighter than that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you can go where your opponent is, but you have to pay one additional worker or something like that. Yeah. Here, you're completely blocked out of a spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't like that aspect of this particular game. Um, I, 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 Quality-wise, it's good. I would not play this again, I don't think. That's why I feel like there's such a runaway lead to this. You can just block any, like, you can block a person off. The last round, I, I just messed with you. Like, I just... You did. Yeah. You definitely did. <laughs> the fir even the first round, like, when you first got this... I had no other way to really get coins except for that, but even then, I was always so short. And then you got the assistant first. You got yeah, you got everything first, everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get first dibs on research, but again, balance. Mm -hmm. The first player in a two-player game gets to go first three times, and you get to go first mm -hmm. two times. Yeah, you get the second player gets first dibs on research, but there is no research on the last round. Mm -hmm. So, like again, I think there's a balance issue here that hasn't been fully thought out. Yeah. With, again, you're using the full 20 dice for two players and the full 20 dice for five players. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. You're gonna have a completely different experience playing a two player game than you would a five player game mm -hmm. based on that rule set. Mm -hmm. So I I think this game needed a bit more play testing. Yeah. Personally. I think the first, uh, I think uh, like if anyone plays this game again, the first player should always go for this because they'll get two coins and they'll completely block the other person from purchasing uh, from the research upgrades. Maybe. And then that's Unless that's... you get coins from here. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, how'd you feel? Like, I also felt like the assistants were just glorified permanent tool cards. Yeah. They were they were OP, though. Un un until we got to the end where I was like, okay, I can finally get assistants. And it's like, wait a second. <laughs> The game's over at this point. I can only use them once. Okay. Yeah, like, I, they're really good, though. Like, I gotta say, this Pollen Woman was really, really great. Pollen Woman. Yeah. Is that a DC character or a Marvel character? <laughs> Sister May. Pollen Woman. Pollen Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I love the theme, though. I love biology. I love the Punnett's uh, genetics, the mm -hmm. Punnett square. Punnett square. Punnett yeah. square. X and Y chromosomes. I am yeah. always trying to find a genetics game, and I can never find, like, really, really good ones. And This was okay, but not... I wouldn't say this is a groundbreaking mm -hmm. worker placement game. My search continues for a good genetics game. <laughs> mm? Sorry to hear that. I, I I thought it was just okay. I wouldn't rush out to buy this, yeah. personally. Yeah. But... So there you go, folks. That was Genotype. Uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.